Tap, tap, tap in collective. Welcome to my channel. This is God's Major Oracle. You could call me Major Oracle. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for the love. Welcome home to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Join the family. Now, this is the 18 plus channel, so YouTube trigger warning. I play copyright free meditation music in the back background. Now, what I was going to step into is my channeled messages. Now, someone could be seen numbers mirroring now that could represent like for example 212 what i saw right before we got on i saw 151 now 151 could represent a powerful message from the universe that signifies new beginning major life changes and opportunities for growth this talks about new beginnings in love life as well for some of you this could also represent new beginnings and how you make your money. Now, your angels are signaling you to know that you need to take some time to focus on healing and self-care. When you encounter the number 151, it's like the universe is whispering in your ear, offering you the key to a magical realm. Now, that means personal growth and positive changes are on the horizon for you. Manifesting positivity and adventures into your life. It's time for us to move away from negative thoughts and negative behaviors and have faith in ourselves and in our abilities. It speaks of spiritual awakening as well. It's a, rem a reminder that you are a very powerful being. You're spiritual. You're just a spiritual being having a human experience at this time in this life on this realm. Now, things you need to know is to be strong and take charge of your, sh your, your future and to act as a leader. Now, as of love, this signifies that, yes, change is coming. You could have had a slump in the past. Some of you could be single, but this just represents that a new person is coming into your life. Doesn't necessarily have to be in love, could also be in friendship. Now, as a twin flame, this serves as a divine message for your twin flame in navigating their union, their journey. It emphasizes the theme of individual growth, spiritual energy, transformation, and change within the connection. If you feel like you're a twin flame, know at this time you need to focus on spiritual growth. Um, your flame is doing the same. Normally, the female wakes up before the male. This is something a lot of people need to understand. And once the male understands, he focuses on self-love. He has to learn how to love himself before he can love you. Now, I want to step right into channeled messages. Someone from your past, your past person, or your past person's other person wants to troll you, message you, acting like they're your person. That message is for somebody. This person that has, there's somebody here that has mutual friends with their past person. They're trying to gain information from those people about you. Now, I'm also picking up that your past person is not happy at this time. That message is for somebody. Somebody's past person is a pathological liar. The person's actions do not match their words. Someone wants you to feel bad for them. This person's an actor. This person will act like they're hurt, they're sick, they're down and out. They will play on your emotions. That message is for somebody. This is someone that you will go nowhere in life with. Or this person is going nowhere in life. It's like they're meant to be stuck. Don't be stuck with them, collective. That message is for somebody. Someone lost themselves, lost their divinity, lost their divinity over you for doing you wrong. This is a person that hates on you. They don't want you to elevate past them. It's like they don't want you to make more money than them. They don't want you to look better than them. They don't want you to be happier than them. It's like this is so weird because it's like as if your past person is in competition with you. That message is for somebody. This person is very bitter and wants to act like a friend, but they aren't. You are a survivor collective. You survived the worst. And I heard the worst of the worst. Someone has a karmic mom. This message is for somebody. Like, very narcissistic. Someone was paid to come up against you. Know this. Take this as confirmation. Someone will use their childhood trauma to why they did what they did against you. 
It's like, oh, I hurt you because of this. I hurt you because of that. Because this happened to me when I was younger. This is why I did that to you. They will use this to pluck at your heartstrings. It's like a BS tactic, playing victim. Someone drinks and I hurt a lot. Don't trust this person. This message is for somebody. These people that you've dealt with in the past are very karmic. You were dealing with like people with emotional pop problems, people with traumas, bipolar people, people just not emotionally stable. Like these people who off they rock up. This message is for somebody. Now, I did also see the number uh, 525. It talks about moving forward and um, overcoming challenges that can be presented in the current time. Now, you yourself, you need to be focusing on yourself at this time. I don't know why I keep, I know why I keep stuttering. It's Mer Mercury retrograde. Look at that. I know the word, but I'm about to stutter it. That's crazy. Now, I also picked up on the 80s, 84, 83. I also picked up on the number 2323. 23. It encouraged you to trust your intuition, to seek balance in all aspects of your life. This divine message reminds you that you possess the power within you to manifest your desires and to create a life full of joy, purpose, and divine alignment. I'm also picking up on an owl. An owl is like a night crawler. This person could be a night crawler, a night watcher, a predator, in the sense that they're watching you. Someone can have a tattoo of an owl. Someone's ex is watching, and I heard watching me, watching readings, watching divine messages. But because they want to know where your head is at, where your headspace is at. It's like this person is divination spying. And you know what I picked up on too? My collective doesn't want you, is what I picked up on. You don't want this person. Tell me about this person, spirit. Ooh, these cards want to come out. This is someone you had a round and round cycle with. This person triggers you. This is a person you were supposed to learn a lesson from. We also have this card sticking out here. This is someone that has been through childhood traumas, woundings, bullying, some type of um, S abuse, physical abuse, toxic parenting, and abandonment. This person has a lot of abandonment issues. Tell me about this person's spirit. This is someone that is mirroring you. But I get like, they're mirroring you not in a twin flame way. They're mirroring you because they're copying you. They're copying your energy. They're trying to, let's say if you had a certain way of talking to them or certain words. They want to use those same words in that same way, but to get you back in, if that makes sense. We have coping. So how that flew out? We have coping. Someone's coping. And I did pick that up on my channel message. Someone's drinking a lot. Someone's at the bar. Somebody's clubbing. Somebody's chilling with their friends. This is someone you have a love-hate situation with. Thin line between love and hate. But you saw how it came on the reverse? It's like you don't care no more. This person's stuck in memories on you, but it's on the reverse. It's like you don't even want to think about this person because you know that's manifesting them in. This is someone you were bumping heads with, but you're no longer bumping heads with because you don't want to deal with it. This is someone you had a no strings attached kind of situation. But again, like those cords have been cut. You cut those cords energetically. This is my illumination card, my God card, my evil eye card. My heart chakra card, trust, discovery, awakening, illumination. God is going to illuminate something to you regarding this no string situation, this situation you was bumping heads with this person, this specific person. God is going to illuminate something about them. Tell me something about the situation. You're about to see this person's true colors. The divine is about to show you this person's true colors. We have self-love over no strings attached and between my God card. Stop showing this situation so much attention and start showing yourself attention. This is what the divine wants you to do. We have this card poking out. This is somebody that is missing you. This person does miss you. But just because someone misses you doesn't make it a good thing. They could be missing bumping heads with you. They could be missing just putting through and putting you through things. You know what I'm saying? They could be missing playing with you, playing with your heart, missing your pocket, missing what you used to do for them. 
You need to really be smart when it comes to readings because just because a reader says oh this person i have the i miss you card it doesn't necessarily always mean a good thing you yourself might not be missing this person at the moment because you're showing yourself self-love someone could have curly hair now this is someone that brought chaos to your life this is someone that's going through an ego death or you could be going through an ego death it says spiritual warfare downward spiral spiritual awakening you could be going through your spiritual awakening or this person could We have justice out here. You're going to gain justice in this situation over what this person has done to you. Over my God card, spiritual gifts. Your spiritual gifts are and they're enhancing with this new moon phase. This person is going to receive some type of karma. And I get because it was like that on the side. I get like you're going to be reaping your dharma. You, you could be happily single, doing you, dating, stress free setting goals, career focus. Someone could have light brown hair. Let's keep going for like this. Spirit, could I get a message regarding the situation from my collective? Funeral, ending. This situation is ending. This situation is dead and over. It's like, you're going to be happy and this person is going to be stuck in a cycle of karma is what I'm picking up on. I feel like this is just a straight read. Give me a like if you like. Leave me a comment below. Okay, now. This is somebody that was selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride and ego. They could like to wear black. They could cross their arms like this. But you, you're moving on, letting go, loving you, being free. There's more fish in the sea out there. Or you need to. We have two moving cards back to back. Someone's definitely moving. Buying a home, selling a house, city, state, career change. Left a toxic relationship. A fresh new start. That's beautiful. Why? Because this was karmic ties you were dealing with. And you know it. I get like you know it. This person is shattered. Shattered over you walking away. This person wanted you shattered. This person could have been acting fake busy in the past. Not putting you first. Not prioritizing you. Trying to make you feel less dead. Yeah, this stuff. Someone could um have tattoos, wear a wife beater, wear a hat. This could be somebody with a criminal record. You could have gotten this person locked up because of what they did to you. This person could be from the States, New York State. Number six, number five, number seven, number two, number eight could be significant. Someone could be 20, 28, 27, 25, 26. Somebody could be born in the 70s, the 50s, or the 60s. Something significant about 20, like 20, I got 2008, 2007, 2002, 2006, 2005. Someone could wear, there could be a male that wears earrings. Over cope, we have trapped. Someone could have wanted you, but this person could have wanted you, inebriated, to try to trap you. That message is for somebody that's specific. Or someone's going to come in and try to get you drunk to get you pregnant. Be careful, collective. That message was specific. Or this person wants to trap you with a pregnancy. And I heard another. This could also be your baby daddy. Bottom of the deck. We got fed up. You're fed up in this situation. You're tired of this person. You're not happy. We have reckless sex on the reverse. It's like you're not sleeping with this person. It's like you don't want to. This is why this person can't trap you. Because you're not sleeping with them. We have a lot of yellow out here. Somebody wants to send you a love message. This person wants to hit you up. This person wants to talk. Look at what we got on the bottom of the deck. And with that being said, we're going to tap out collective. It's too late for this person. You're moving on, moving forward. Take this as confirmation. This is a you time. It's time to tap, tap, tap out, collective. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. This person's getting karma at this time. Peace be on to you.